Good Never. morning, Richard. How are you? Morning to you, sir. Oh, fantastic to catch up with you. Gee, you're a sight for sore eyes. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good. I can't get it out of my head. I can't get it out of my head. Ashes circle the drain. Nor do I want to get it out of my head. It's brilliant. Good. <laughs> good. Oh, mate, the last time we spoke was actually in 2016, and it's great to see you again. Brilliant that we might actually get to see you back in Australia again for the first yeah. time in over a decade. Wow. <laughs> First time in over a decade, but this is the first time we've done a headlining show in 20 years. It's and just incredible. Actually, we might have played one headlining show in Soundwave. There might have been Sidewave or whatever it was called. Absolutely. Like back we, in 2014. We, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but, which is uh, I mean, what do you remember of those Soundwave performances? Do you even remember us here? <laughs> yeah. No, they were great. They were great. There was one we didn't have our shit together. We, did, we our crew was brand new and we had issues on getting on stage. Um, and we only played for like three songs and I can't remember where it was, but it was, it was a problem. Mm -hmm. And then this time is going to be amazing because we have a fantastic crew and we, we've, we've built our production equipment is, is all in one big package that we take, we can fly with. And, um, it's going to be amazing. We're going to we're going to bring it. That'll be brilliant. That's it. last time we were speaking about the release of Crazy Eyes and and your tour with Ministry planned in 2017, then unfortunately didn't go ahead. Uh, mate, kind of a lot's happened since then. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. Is the algorithm was first conceived in 2018, but what I understand was a, a follow up to Short Bus originally in Embryo, working with Brian uh, Lisa Gang. How did that all come about? Well, uh, I went to a Veruca Salt. I took Brian with me to a Veruca Salt concert. And Louise Post from the stage said, hey, I know Brian and Richie are from, from, you know, Filter are here. And they should get back together, put their bullshit aside and get back together. And uh, so I, I, I asked Brian if he wanted to work on some music. And um, old old kind of issues came up during the, the, the workings on it. We, we worked with this company called pledge music.com, which is um, a, a, it, it was a kind of a crowdfunding mechanism to, to make, you know, records. Mm -hmm. And um, it got all screwed up and they went bankrupt and they ripped our audience off for like, like thousands and thousands of dollars. And it, it pissed off Brian and it pissed off me. And it was, it was one of those things where it was just like, you know what, let's, let's not do this. Let's not work together. And we did do four songs. So America thoughts and prayers, summer child and command Z are the four songs that we wrote. So those are out. People can hear it, but it was going to be called rebus. And then I decided no, nah, I don't want to call it Rebus because Brian's not here anymore. So I'll call it. They've got us right where they want us at each other's throats. Mm -hmm. And then that was too long. So I figured, you know, have a have a shorter title called The Algorithm, which made total sense to me. And it, then it makes total sense to me as well. I mean, yeah. you couldn't ask for a more apt title when you've apparently hit upon the, the, the very precise sequence or, or the exact procedure for creating the perfect filter songs. I mean, is that what yeah. algorithm means to you? Algorithm is, is, is a math equation. Like it's, if you look it up in the dictionary, it says usually a math equation that is blah, 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 blah. Mm. So everybody's got an algorithm, you know, it's not, it's double, there's double entendres to the title. There's the algorithms that you have to deal with online when you're dealing with social media that steer you into like watching, you know, dogs bark a certain way or you know you end up like you know i'm sure there's going to be some terrible stuff online from israel you know coming in from what what they're releasing on twitter and all that stuff yeah. i'm sure that i'll probably see some dead bodies you know uh sadly because of my algorithm i'm political i'm very political when i when it comes to my life um and then there's the algorithm of like just us as human beings, like my algorithm, my problem to solve was drinking and 
and doing drugs. Like that's the, the issue that I had to overcome in my life that saved my life. You know, some people it's cancer, some people it's, you know, it's, it's a, a problem to be solved. You know, maybe it's their, their, they're not doing well at work and they're, and they're, they're not happy in their job and they want to leave, you know, or something. Everybody's got their own fight. And that's what the algorithm means to me. Wow. Brilliant stuff. And of course, algorithm essentially emerged from that, that original uh, 2018 idea of five years later, having shed titles and songs along the way. It, it seems from an outsider's perspective, rather a tumultuous journey. How would you describe its creation over those five years? The record? Yeah. Um, even though the business end of it was crazy, it was actually a lot of fun for me. Because what I did was I built a studio to do music scores. And um, the the byproduct was now that I'm done working on a, a movie with a producer and a, and a director telling me what to do and a studio coming down on me and telling me what to do. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to go write some filter songs because that's easy and that's something I can do. So mm -hmm. I would I would blow off steam, as it were, and 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 write uh you know all these the drowning and or face down or be careful what you wish for or, or you know I, or i would work with a friend of mine zach monowitz and he would send me music that he's working on and we would apply that to the filter record um he did for the beaten and up against the wall and um and so that was really easy it was it was really fun. The the business end of it with Rebus and with PledgeMusic.com and all that stuff, that was sad and that pissed me off. But the music end of it was a lot of fun. You know, the, the writing writing the algorithm was easy. It was fun. Indeed. And as you say, Zach's contributions are brilliant on the, the tracks that he played. Yeah. Uh, of course, the, the one thing that I have to ask, out of the four tracks that you mentioned that you worked on with Brian, only Summer Child made it to the album. Why was that? No, Command Z made it too. Oh, Command Z. My apologies. Yes, yeah. me too. Sorry. Uh, America was released as a single, and so was Thoughts and Prayers. They yeah. were just released as singles. Indeed. Absolutely. They probably could have, should have been on this record, but I... I felt like if anything, I was going to, cause there was another like idea of maybe releasing an EP called America and had that would have thoughts and prayers. Cause both thoughts and prayers in America have a theme that they, yeah. that they have, which is the the phrase, they got us right where they want to set each other's throat. They got us right where they want to set each other's throats. Yeah. Like I say that in both songs and it's, they're kind of like tied together. But then I realized I didn't want to make a record so overtly political. So I, I pulled everything back in terms of like being political online and being political in social media and and just kind of just talking about the, the band and keeping it more universal. And um, I get to say what I want to say. Summer Child is a complete, you know, fuck you to 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 a certain part of population that that will remain anonymous in our country <laughs> and, um, okay indeed and of course uh, what a great idea for an ep that it works so well uh, yeah. many have said of course that, that this is some of your best work in many years and um if, if i could i respectfully disagree i think this is your finest collection yet as, as filter uh mm -hmm. and individually genuinely brilliant what are your thoughts on that where does this fit in for you into the filter catalog this is up there the algorithm is is definitely uh up there with like the best stuff i've ever done there's no question this is this is a great record it's up there with title and amalgamate in my opinion Indeed, absolutely agreed. But of course, we were busting to hear Crazy Eyes back in 2017, and now Algorithm mm -hmm. is under your arm as well when you head our way. So what yeah. can we expect from your shows? A bit of a mix of both or concentrate on Algorithm specifically? You're going to get everything. We're going to play for it. It's a headlining show, so we're going to play for like an hour and 40 minutes. So you're getting everything that we love playing as a band and probably a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we love, we love the algorithm. We're going to, we're going to open up the show 
and play uh, The Drowning, probably the first song, because it's such a perfect song to just open up the show with. Oh, really? And then uh, and then it'll go. It'll it'll be a cool set. It'll be it'll be a great set. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Oh, as are we, my friend. Goodness me, we can't wait till you get here. Now, of course, the, the time before last that we spoke, we had uh, we discussed some app descriptions about Donald Trump, and that was before he was POTUS. Then we spoke about him when he was POTUS last time, which was fun. But my question is whether much yeah. of his time in office provided, I guess, stimuli for the filter songs that either made it to algorithm or not. But did, was there a bit of contribution from him along the way there? Uh, Summer Child is about him and his supporters. He's a con. Mm. He's a con man. That's why he's been indicted 91. He's been indicted four times. He just got his businesses were turned, were, were all considered fraudulent. He can't do business in New York City anymore because he's a fraud. He's he's a fraud. He's he's a charlatan. And he's 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 doing the old art authoritarianism like you know routine of stirring up the base of, of people that are that are slightly bigoted or have resentments towards you know immigrants. And he's saying all the little things that he needs to say to rile them up to make them piss and he's using hate and anger as a way to as a way to gain power in the united states and he's manipulating people and so america thoughts and prayers um all that stuff uh summer child up against the wall uh is up against the wall it's Mm -hmm. right there in the title it's uh um and they got us right. Where it's we it's to all it's them. it's all out there. It's it, yeah. there's only one or two songs that are super personal, like Command Z is personal. Um, Obliteration is pretty much about the way I used to drink. Yeah, the way the way I used to treat myself when I was an alcoholic, when I was in the using phase of my alcoholism, because I'm still an alcoholic. I just I just don't drink. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, there's there's all kinds of references and stuff yeah he's he's made it on the record for sure indeed i remember us saying at the time is enough there for a view album so but no yeah there. and of course I, I think the only band member from from the crazy eyes recording that contributed to algorithm is john redke uh with of course bobby miller on bass and elias mallon uh on drums and zach as you said contributing for uh for the beaten up against the wall and say it again uh, how influential was that that new mix, if you will, in their contribution shaping the overall sound for Algorithm? Well, it was great. I mean, I, so my band that I tour with are my live guys. They, they, they. Elias played drums on Algorithm. Um, Johnny played guitar. He played all the guitar parts on Algorithm. Bobby played some bass. Um, and I kind of I'm the singer and I'm the 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 main songwriter for the for the uh the records. Um but yeah, I turn to outside people like like Sam Tenez is an amazing lyricist and an amazing melody writer. And um he's also a great guitar player. Mm-hmm. And um he uh and uh, Mark Jackson and Ian Scott did obliteration with me. And, um, but it was, it was really fun to work with other people, um, and keep that going as well as keeping my, my traditional bandmates with me. You know what I mean? It was, it was a, it's a fun process because it's all open. You know what I mean? I can kind of, as the leader of the band, I'm allowed to do what I want. Yeah. And so I can, and my bandmates understand it, you know, they're mature enough and, and, they understand. Oh, you want to write with some other folks? That's cool. Go for it. We, you know, Johnny wasn't offended that he didn't write. He didn't write anything on this record other than some guitar overdubs. Yeah. Um, you know, he didn't. He didn't co-write with me on this record too much because he's just. You know, he's he's kind of doing his own thing. He's got. He's doing eight millimeter and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And um, so. Uh, is as long as I have air in my lungs, like it's kind of it's kind of my thing, you know what I mean? It's kind of my band. So I'm kind of I'm allowed to kind of do whatever I want, you know what I mean? And that's and that's the way it should be artistically, creatively, you want to be free. 
Indeed, absolutely. And of course, without catering to your professional or personal vanity, it's certainly not my intention, but you, you were sounding, personally, I think better than ever before, the way you're belting out tracks like obliteration and, and face down, it's just phenomenal stuff. Are you feeling you. like you're at your pinnacle? I feel pretty awesome about this record. Wonder. <laughs> like we, well we gave we gave golden robot the gold bars like that's how i looked at it like these are the gold bars to make gold records these this is it this is the gold that you need to be a big record company like here go forth prosper Indeed, that was one that touch, without doubt i mean every day i've got a new favorite face down summer child threshing floor obliteration it's, it's all just magnificent stuff my favorite's the drowning Favorite? Okay. Yeah, I love the drone. I mean, I love the whole thing. I'm, 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 I'm a fan. As are we in Australia, and we can't wait to hear it live. Thanks to Metropolis touring in 2024. And please, please, universe, don't let anything get in the way of Builders' return. <laughs> yes, yes, so, we will. We will be there. We, oh, it, will, it will happen. And I will see you April 5th over here in Melbourne, right at the start of the tour, my friend. And we'll look forward to your dates in Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, and then Perth. Get a Guernsey as well, for which they're very, very grateful for over there. Richard, thank you very much for your time. It's we an absolute love privilege Australia. to see you again. We love Australia. We adore Australia. Australia is fantastic. The, the audiences are fantastic. We are going to have a blast, and we are going to fucking bring it. From your lips to God's ears. That's all I can say. Man, we, we are gonna, gonna bring it. We are gonna <laughs> we are gonna blow you away. We are we are really good right now. So I'm I'm excited. Oh I'm gonna have goosebumps until April next year. Killer. <laughs> Great to catch up, Richard. Thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Travel safely. We'll see you in April next year. April, here it comes. Take care, my friend. Thank you.